Good morning, children. So let's write question answers of lesson number six: Measurement of physical quantities of class seven. So continue with question number second. Okay. So question is. Who is my companion? Who is my companion? Okay, this is the question. It is same like the match the pair. Column A is given, column two B is given. So you have to match A with B. Write down first. One is velocity. Okay. Second, area. Then third is volume. Fourth is mass. Fifth is density okay this is your a column on b column write it as a meter b is kilogram c is meter per second meter per second d is kilogram oblique cubic meter meter And E is square meter. Square meter. So these two columns are given. To match it, velocity that measure in your meter per second. Velocity. Major in meter per second. Okay, area area always that is square meter. Area is square meter. Okay, then volume always is in liter. Volume always is in liter. Mass is in kilogram. Mass is in kilogram. Okay. Then density is kilogram cubic meter. Kilogram or cubic meter. So please note down this. Question two. Okay. Then question three. Explain giving examples. Explain giving examples. A is scalar quantity is very much important. Scalar 
quantity okay this is very much important a quantity that can be a quantity that can be a quantity that can be completely expressed completely expressed by its magnitude by its magnitude alone is called alone is called scalar quantity scalar quantity okay examples scalar quantity ray ray then ray ray area mass temperature area mass temperature temperature density time bomb density time bomb in all these okay density time and work okay write down this okay a quantity that can be completely expressed by its magnitude alone is called scalar quantity length breadth area mass temperature density time work these are some scalar quantities okay then vector quantity write down b is vector quantity vector quantity the quantity a quantity that can be the quantity that is expressed completely that is expressed expressed completely completely on the when completely only 
when magnitude and direction magnitude and direction direction are both are given both are both are given is called a is called a vector quantity is called a vector quantity example velocity and displacement velocity and displacement are vector vector quantities okay write down this the next question question number 4 i am giving you homework so please note down this question number 4 So question number four. Explain the leading examples. Explain the leading examples. The errors. The errors that occur. that occur while making while making major mains okay this is homework so you have to give various examples in your day to day life so where the errors that occur by making measurements okay so please note down this homework you can give the various examples in day to day life 
so the errors that occur while making measurements the major causes of errors you can give how not using the appropriate device not using a device properly okay so while buying the things at grocery shops and vegetable market remember to look the way the balance should be at proper place the pointer is in center so that you have to observe while purchasing the things from the market you should check it properly its expiry date its manufacture date okay its price you should check before buying the things okay then you should check the balance is it stable or not agar abhi electronic balance hai, its weight is not zero so you should check no changes should be done on the undesirable of the pan of the balance you should check you should check the weight also okay while purchasing the thing so these precautions you should take so write down on the uh, three examples okay here explain the three examples the error that occur while making measurements okay you can uh, give the example with the scale how to measure the length with the help of scale so don't take the जो इसके जो नोक है वो ब्रोकन है अगर टूटे हैं स्केल के डोंट यूज दैट स्केल हाउ टू मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ अ थ्रेड यू शुड नो यू शुड नो द हाउ टू मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ द कर्व लाइन ओके सपोज इट्स अ कर्व लाइन हाउ यू मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ दिस कर्व लाइन यू कैन नॉट यूज द स्केल हियर ओके so what you use you can use the thread okay take a thread suppose it's a thread it is a you have to measure the length of that line so use by using this thread keep a thread on one end here and so keep it on the line thread and measure its length then you can Measure the thread with the help of scale. Hence, you can use, you can measure the length of the curve line by using a thread. So it is a method. You should know this. Okay, children. So bye, everyone. Next video, we will continue with remaining question answers. So bye to all.